clear confirmation that Regadi Gashagwa is going to be impeached. Hassan Omar is confirming to us this. And let, let's watch this video. I am uh, I'm reliably informed by most of our members of parliament that uh, many of them from the UDA party ha have appended their signatures and are, are in support of that motion of impeachment. I think uh, what, what we will go with the majority members of the UDA party. If the majority members of the UDA party are in support of the impeachment, then the UDA party itself will also support what the members feel is in the best interest of the party and the country. And in fact, should that motion of impeachment sail through, my, our immediate concern then will be to eject him also as a member of the party. Because then you cannot be found to be gro gro grossly uh, incompetent, grossly uh, uh, undermining the constitution and national unity, and then still become a, a ranking member of this party. So we are, we, I think in, if I were a parliamentarian myself, uh, I will find sufficient ground uh, to impeach uh, uh, in following up with what Honorable Nyakundi has said. Uh, you cannot preach the gospel of ethnicity, malice, division, gospel of exclusion, gospel that tries to incite one, one group of people against another. He has been the most catastrophic, the most insidious in terms of dealing a very decisive blow to the unity of this country that, was, that had been carefully knit by the Hustler Nation. Uh, the Hustler Nation was about the bottom-up economic policy. It was never about regions, it was never about, about one person over another or blind ambition for power. It was a, it was a narrative that was, hope, was, was hoped will uplift the masses of the country so that a lot of us then can come into the economic bracket and avoid the culture of exclusion. What we have seen him doing is to argue for the same old policies of malice, of division, of hatred, of ethnicity, of exclusion of others, and um, I don't think it is proper and right to have a deputy president who, has, who is actually himself the actual threat to national unity. We have, uh, let me first allow the member of parliament for Gitutu Chache, who is also the national treasurer of UDA, to, say, to speak to that matter. Then I will finalize it. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Japheth Nyakundi, member of parliament for Kitutu Chache North and I'm also the national treasurer of the UDA party. We are here today uh, because uh, two weeks ago we started the Comrades chapter. The Comrades chapter is all about leadership and governance and listening to the, our young people. Our young people in this country, especially the youth, need uh, a sense of hearing and they need a sense of communication. That's why we are here today. As a party, we said we will mentor the young people of this country because we believe that they are the leaders of today. So as a party, we will be moving across the country on issues to do with uh, talking to the young people of this country because that is the, the manifesto of UDA and that is how UDA was built. On the issue of impeachment uh, of the deputy president, the motion has not been brought to parliament yet, but if the motion is brought to parliament, we will look at it. And uh, if the grounds are uh, sustainable enough for the impeachment of the deputy president, we will impeach him, but uh, if the grounds are not uh, sufficient enough, he'll have another chance. But uh, what I will say to the people of Kenya, because this is a matter of concern, the deputy president has looked to be like someone who is very tribal, someone who does not want to engage people from other regions across the country. He he's said to be a Mrima person. And uh, as a country, we want someone who is... Uh, a symbol of uh, national unity who will be visiting other regions and hear the problems of other regions. And if uh, Rigathi Gashagwa is not ready to come to Mombasa, is not ready to go to Nyanza, is not ready to go to Western and other parts of the country, then we will look for another deputy president who is ready to serve Kenyans uh, at the capacity of a deputy president. Because we don't want a deputy president who talks about his region who advocates only about this region. Because if we go that way, all these other regions will also require to have their own deputy president. And uh, because we don't want to have eight deputy presidents, we will remove him so that we have a deputy president who is ready to listen to Kenyans and who is ready to serve Kenyans, despite the race, color, region, and where you come from. Thank you so much. My name is Javed Nyakundi. You've listened to that video clip. 
They are saying that Rigathi Gashagwa is incompetent. Rigathi Gashagwa, I don't know this and that. It is just a long story. But let me tell you that these people are just finding a political space. It is nothing new. It is no, there is nothing new here. It is just a political interest that both parties are going to come up and find a way who is, who, who is supposed to be supported. Regardless, it should be in UDA to support William Ruto 2027. Truth to be told, the same way Ruto should be uh, should work with Rigadi to support him in 2027. Indeed, Rigadi had talked and uh, said several things. That is polit politics. The same way Ruto said, Tafadali usiwe watoto wangu. Iya ikuwa siyasa. The same way other politicians always talk in different languages. So you can't say that now Rigadi is incompetent. Who told you that Ruto is not incompetent? How many promises have, have we fulfilled to the people in the Republic of Kenya? This is just a political, they are just trying to find a political uh, root path to secure their own political interest. But at the back of their mind, you will realize that William Ruto knows whatever he's doing. And he's very much aware, keenly observing Rigadi Gashagwa political footsteps. On addition to that, I prefer Rigadi Ruto to remain united in order to fulfill their promises. Then wait for 2027, Kenyans to chase them away, Kenyans to take them home. Simple and clear. As I had analyzed on other video, that Kenyans have no interest on Ruto Rigadi Gashagwa. This impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa is just null and void. Because if it is a matter of impeachment, Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa should be impeached. They have done nothing to Kenyans. Let us speak the truth and call a spade a spade. So on the Ruto side, is just appointing MPs and other politicians to support his political interest by drafting a bill to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. But on the other side, also Rigadi is coming up with another political nightmare that if he is going to be impeached, then I had this man, Senator Mungaro, was it Mungaro? Yeah, I think, saying that he's going to draft a bill to also impeach William Ruto. Hey, they are wasting Kenyan's time. The issue of impeachment should not be discussed now and let them go home if they want to go home. I advised them again last week that kama wamechoka na kazi Ruto na Rigathi Gashagwa nisikia Ruto anasema anataka kukuwa pasta ni vizuri sisi wanasiasa tuko hivyo hata Gashagwa akitaka kukuwa priest akue juu they had misled Kenyans they had betrayed Kenyans they have nothing agenda to do with Kenyans the best option waweke KDF waongoze inchi sisi tutavumilia KDF ni mzuri kwanza wakiongoza inzi. Hakuna ashida. Ruta ende sugoi. Gashagwa ende. Madhira. Eh. Hey. Vile uru aliende ichweli. Si inakuanga hivo. Si namuna hivo. Si asa ikiisha kila muta anarudu ushago. Ushago ndi home. East or West home is the best. Wache kusumbo wa Kenya. Mara hivi, mara hivi. So Asano Mara is confirming to us. Ati. Kama ground itakuwa more on the side of Gashagwa's impeachment, then ataenda nyumbani. Kwa sababu amekuwa incompetent. Anaongea luga moja, ye ni mlima Kenya. Muta asiguze mlima. The same way, National Treasury, <laughs> wa UDA anasema, <laughs> Gashagwa, <laughs> Gashagwa betrayed Mount Kenya people. Gashagwa, no, sorry, Gashagwa, uh, ye ni a tribalistic man. Anaongea tu mambo ya ukabila. Hakuna mwana siyasa yote mwenye ungei mambo ya ukabila. Do ya gashagwa wanasema ni too much. Ruta anongea mambo ya ukabila. Raila anongea mambo ya ukabila. Kalonza anongea mambo ya ukabila. Si wakitafuta uraisi wanasema kamba ni kura yangu. Afa yaenda ukambani. Si hiyo ni ukabila. Raila kienda nyanza indangi hata za zingine during campaign. Anaenda tu kidogo. 
na unaona mass reception the same way ukiona rift rift valley mass reception the same way ukiona gashagwa mass reception in mount kenya wanasemanga aje kanga wachi nini manyoya Mtoto wako ni mtoto wako hata kama ni mlevi we ndio ule mzaa ni mtoto wako. Mtoto wako ni mtoto wako hata kama ni mwanda wazimu we ndio ule mzaa ni mtoto wako. You have to accept the status of your son or daughter. Because that is God creation. You cannot kill God creation. Wanasemanga hivyo. So this is central son. They must accept it. And not even central sun, UDA sun. Lazima wa accept UDA sun. Bigadi gashagwa. Ni UDA sun. Alipigania haki uhuru kwa UDA. Madhira Hassan amesema atoki, aresign. Ah wanasema lazima aresign. Waje tu wape next week wana draft hiyo bill tuone. From that video I've just displayed. That is politics. I wish you all the best. Bye bye. Let's meet on another political discussion. Thank you so much.